We're with Representative Lillian Ortiz Self of the 21st District. How are you doing? Great, thank you. This is the third week of session. I want to ask you specifically about two bills. Let's start with Opportunity Gap. That is a bill that I had the privilege of talking on the floor, and it's one that I'm very passionate about because I believe that all students need to have the opportunity to succeed in the state of Washington. And unfortunate for way too many years, we have students that are falling through the cracks, and we need to remove those barriers and make sure that every student has a chance to succeed. When we talk about fully funding education, I think a lot of us here, including myself, I made a promise to my district and I told them that I was gonna come up here and I was gonna work hard to fully fund education. But I also told them that I was gonna work hard to make sure we don't dump a lot of money into a system without making the changes it needs in order to have every child succeed academically and have a bright future. And I feel like if we just put money into the system without changing relevant policy, I am giving my district a bunch of broken promises. Mr. Speaker, I keep hearing about unfunded, unfunded mandates, and I have to ask you, when did educating all of our children become an unfunded mandate? Because it's my understanding that in the state of Washington, we are supposed to provide a free and an appropriate education for all children. We cannot build a budget expecting that 20% of our kids will be expelled from our schools. We build a budget with the dreams of every mother and father and every child in our state, believing that 100% of our children will be educated. That is what we are supposed to do. I don't know when that 20% of kids became an unfunded mandate. I don't know when it became okay to build budgets around expecting expulsions of kids. I don't know when it became an omnibus bill when this touches just a little piece of the opportunity gap because there still is so much more work to be done. When do we dissect bills to accommodate putting band-aids on a problem that is so important in our state? When 50% of our kids are kids of color and they are not making it, when do we say we need way more than an omnibus bill? We need a lot of change to make sure that all of these children's dreams come true. Mr. Speaker, I attended an event this Saturday in my district, of students in my district, and these students took a Saturday to come out and hear and speak on how the system failed them and what can they do to make a difference. I was so impressed by these young men and women, and it broke my heart as some of them stood up and said, how do you not give up hope? How do you keep dreaming and wishing and hoping that something will be different? They told me the horrific stories of how the system had failed them repeatedly over and over again because of the color of their skin, because of their income level, because of their gender, because of their language. Mr. Speaker, this is not the education system we want for the state of Washington. I saw the desire in their eyes, but I also saw the tears in their eyes. And it is time that we address and change those tears to hope. Let them know that we really truly stand for educating all our kids and that saying it's okay to wait a few more years while we continue to expel students for a year at a time and take away their education, take away their hope, take away their future is not something this body is going to stand for anymore. And yes, this is a, what some call an omnibus bill because when you mandate that students stay in school and that we find alternative ways to educate them, we must also address the support that our teachers need, the engagement our families need, the support our students need to be successful while holding our system accountable. And that, those are the pieces that together are crucial and make up this bill. We can't dissect that. It needs to pass and we need many more to pass to continue because we cannot stop and say, ask our system to catch up until every student in the state of Washington has the opportunity to fulfill their dreams. And I ask this body to fulfill their promise to 
every student in the state of Washington and pass this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Opportunity Gap Bill will be heard again on the floor. We will continue to keep working on it. We will continue to work with the other side. And it's our hope that we will see it pass this session so that we can make sure that all of our children are successful. The second bill I want to ask you about is your family engagement legislation. Yes, I was very happy that that bill passed the House this week. You know, the research says that when families and schools partner together, we get better outcomes. And you know, I unfortunately hear a lot from families that say that they do not feel like they have access to a very complicated system. And they really want to get involved. They want the best for their children. And I think we owe it to them to make sure that we make that as seamless a process as possible. This bill is really going to solidify that partnership or get us moving in the direction to solidify the partnership between families and schools. And that is going to have better outcomes for our children. All right, well, thank you very much for your time and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.